Hello, 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 women, 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 friends of mine, beautiful friends of mine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. I'm so excited. I am standing and up amongst the living for a Monday. I had an action-packed weekend. It's very exciting. Hung out with a bunch of people about, hello, Tina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Cheers to you for joining me. I was just saying I had a real active weekend, so for me to be up and cheery on a Monday, it's a good thing. So, Yahoo, woo woo. Cheers to you, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. You should too. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome ladies to Intermittent Fasting 101. I have already recorded um, introduction to intermittent fasting. So you haven't seen that, be sure and go over and check that out. But this one here hopefully will just be like a quick fix step guide that will just take a lot of questions and put them to rest. So number one, what is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is basically withholding food from your body for a certain amount of time. And the good news is that that certain amount of time of fasting includes our sleeping time. So basically, the more, if we're sleeping, we're actually doing something good for our body, right? We're resting, we were, we're hopefully rejuvenating our cells and being able to dump yesterday's toxins and maybe last month's and last year's. So intermittent fasting is withholding food from the body for a certain time it's always good to start with 12 hours so if you stop eating at six o'clock at night you don't want to start eating till six o'clock in the morning it seems pretty pretty doable if you stop eating at eight o'clock at night just don't eat anything until after eight o'clock in the morning and then see how you do with that for a couple weeks a week a couple days if you're good push it up to 12 hours. Okay, now my suggestion for those of you who think and you've been in the mindset that, you know, the FDA and all those people, you need to eat five or six small meals a day with snacks in between. That is really not the right approach if you want to have a slim, healthy body. Healthy being the tip. We don't want our bodies to become insulin resistant. Every time you eat, your body psh, psh, insulin so the longer that we can close our eating window the less our body is going psh, 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 with insulin because if your body's promoting too much insulin your cells are going to try to protect themselves and now you're insulin resistant and so now you're like this so diabetics you can improve your lifestyle with intermittent fasting so my welcome Shirley my um, my tip, Sherry D tip, for when you start approaching your fasting um, lifestyle is this. Think of hunger as a side effect, okay? If your doctor prescribed you, if you had an illness and they said, if your daughter, if your doctor said, if your doctor said, um, sorry, that I'm going to prescribe you three days of fasting and I only want you on bone broth and whatnot. You'll say, okay, that's what the, doc the doctor said to do. Now, I might get hungry, but the doctor said you only can have bone broth, you know, so you would do it. So imagine that the doctor has prescribed you intermittent fasting to improve your health and get rid of a lot of irritating symptoms, inflammation and pains. If he said, I want you to fast, but side effects, are going to be hunger and you need to push through it you'd say okay doctor okay i need to push through it so i want that i want you to just think of it that way that the doctor has prescribed you fasting for 14 hours so try to make it to 14 hours if you can only make it to 12 and a half hours i would suggest that you try either just a glass of water or hot lemon water or even cool lemon water since it's summertime it can be like you pretend like it's lemonade no sugar just lemon and water you're cleansing you're flushing that's really really good so just when you're starting if you feel there's no way I can make it just push yourself 10 more minutes 15 more minutes you know just try little tiny windows 
So that's my tip. And also, if you're going crazy, I have a really good friend. She's like, I'm going crazy. I can't eat. I can't eat. She called a friend. And she talked to that friend for like another hour. So it lengthened her fasting. So that's um, one suggestion. Um, 16 hours is when you're really dumping yesterday's and beyond top toxins. So 16 hour really is the best health goal. And if you want to lose weight, then you go and try and start um, try it for the 18 hour fast. And um, but at 18 hour fast, you're really starting to boost that human human growth hormone. So it keeps you youthful. You know, I am I'm 53. I got, I got wrinkles, but I tell you what, when I meet women that are 40 years old, which is who I hung out with this last Saturday night, we went to a house party with 40 year old women and men, whatever, but the women were dancing around all night long with music and I kept up with them because they think I'm just as young as they are. So, but oh my goodness, it was fun. It was really fun. And my, one of my girlfriends is in here that I was at the party. So anyway, okay, so dancing. That leads me to exercise. The question has been, when we're fasting, how can I go and exercise if I haven't eaten yet? You know, I might get lightheaded or I'm not gonna be able to make it through the workout. So here's the deal. Are you ready? Brace yourself. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, if you're over 40, first of all, if you are a woman over 40, our body changes, our hormones start to change, and so we react to vigorous exercise differently. So if you used to be able to exercise this particular regimen back, you know, in your 30s and in your 20s, and you saw great results, but now you do that same exercise regimen and you're not seeing results, there's a reason. And the reason is that as we age, our bodies, you know, they have to work a little harder to get from point A to point B. And if we're carrying this heavy load or running, it's going to take more energy. Therefore, and if we don't have it, if we're not giving our body good fuel, the body's going to go, oh no, oh no, I've got to protect what fuel I do have. And or you're going to be running off of crap fuel, if you will. So as important as exercise is in your approach, we're gonna be talking about food too because you don't wanna put crap fuel in your body. Michelle Morrow, welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're talking about exercising and intermittent fasting, how to get through that starving period. Like I'm so starving, I'm famished, I need to eat. Um, this is my figure and I'll tell you what, I do not work out aerobically, I do not lift heavy weights. I lift five pound weights. But I mean, I'm telling you, girls, ladies, you don't have to kill yourself with exercise to get results, especially if you're over 40. The best thing to do, especially right now while you're starting an intermittent fasting lifestyle, is to be calm and gentle to your body. That's when you're going to get the most results. Because if your body, if you're working out this strenuous thing, Again, your body's going to have to try to protect you, okay? If you're jogging, imagine when you're up in the jog position or any kind of jumping, when you're up, the body's happy because there's no pressure on your joints. If you have a hip out, you know, your body's not having to adjust. So when you're jumping or running and you land, your body has to adjust. And so it's going to do this, okay? So think of that. And when your body does that, it's cortisol and what does cortisol do if you saw my picture that I posted yesterday cortisol sherry that's what cortisol does it makes us appear fat it, it makes us appear swollen and it provides inflammation which causes pain so my key concept of having a healthy looking athletic body is to remove the cortisol too often. That's okay, Joyce. I was 10 minutes late too because I was having a power surge, so I had to bring my fan over and, and it's Monday. But here we are. That's the joy of these feeds. We can always rewind. <laughs> but you haven't missed much, Joyce. You know um, 
you have to approach slowly exercises because of your um, recovering from surgeries and whatnot. So you are in the perfect place to not have your head go, oh, I need to jump and I need to run to have results with slimming our body, having an athletic look. We don't need heavy exercises, women. What we need to do is dump the toxins that our cells are inflamed with that's causing, you know, so what I, you know, I, oh, I had Panda Express yesterday. So I have a little sodium, but I didn't, oh, and I had a, a fruit bowl that I think was probably made with concentrate. So here's a tip. If you ever go to someplace for a smoothie that you think is being healthy, ask them this question. Are your smoothies made with fresh fruit or fruit concentrate? And then the coconut flakes that I put on it that I wanted, those were sweetened coconut flakes. So I ate this fruit bowl thinking I was doing something good and three hours later, I was sugar crashing hard. So we went to Panda and I ate vegetables and boom, I felt better. So think about the cells being healthy. Remember, we want these nice flowing cells that can clean out our body. If they're all stuffed and crammed in there, how are they gonna be able to flush toxins and trash, right? So my suggestion for exercise, especially in the beginning, is to seek out Tai Chi, yoga for health. You don't have to do hot yoga. You don't have to do, oh, I'm gonna do headstands. Look for soft, gentle yoga, YouTube video links. I have soft, gentle exercise approaches on my YouTube, Sherry D Shares, and I'm adding those more and more as we go. And um, once the intermittent fasting, once y'all kind of got the, the groove and we're grooving in here, I might come in, you know, and we'll do stuff live. I'm kind of starting to incorporate some dance lessons into a couple of my little exercises that are just fun and we'll just dance together. Nobody's watching but us. So I really encourage you when you first start your fasting lifestyle to slow, gentle exercises, be that resistant bands, which Anyone over the age of 40, especially 50 and 60, we should be doing resistant work almost daily. You know, do, you know, if you want your arms and your legs, do some sort of resistant work. Do 10, 10, 10 reps three times. So do 10 sets, one, two, you know, do that to 10 three times. And that's it. And if we're using resistance, we are building bone mass, okay? So the doctors will tell you that you need some sort of a resistance. So light weights, be that a one pound, two pound, three pound weight to start. And if you wanna build a little bit of contour, then go up to the five pound weights once you're ready. But again, once you're ready. Because if you try and pick up heavy weights too fast before you're ready, what's gonna happen? Your body's gonna try and protect because it doesn't have the strength to get through the exercise, so now it's gonna try to release cortisol. Then what does that do, right? Okay, so trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, women. And I, I get it because I used to be addicted to the gym, I used to be addicted to aerobic exercise, but now I get that sweat in my Epsom salt baths because I knew if I was kind of puffy, I knew if I went and I worked out aerobically, which I always did beginning aerobics, I didn't do the, bang, come on, lady. I know, I'm like, I keep my feet on the floor, I don't jump, okay? So, but I knew that when I got my body hot enough from doing those aerobics exercises and I started sweating, I knew in my head I am burning fat right? If you're sweating, your, your body temperature's elevated, you're burning fat. Think about steak when it's put in the refrigerator or a roast or the chicken or the butter. You put that in the refrigerator, it's hard and clumpy and ugh, but you get it warm and what happens? It's liquidy and it can flow, okay? So think of that. When you're sweating, you're burning fat and you're burning toxins. That's why the body gets a fever when it's ill, right? The immune system takes over and it burns out the illness. It goes in and it wants to heat up the body so we can expel the toxins, virus, bacteria, mold, whatever it is, right? We want to expel it. So 
think of that when you're in a nice relaxing bath two cups of Epsom salt for at least 20 minutes. That way you'll start sweating, you know, take a nice little, and I know it's a bummer. You know, I don't wash my hair every day. And so what I do is I put my hair up and then I get my bangs and I pin them with little bobby pins right here. And then I get into the bath. And so, and then I keep a dry washcloth or towel near. And as my brow is detoxing, I wipe it off and that and your skin feels amazing when you're perspiring and you take a cotton cloth and wipe it and if you do that to your whole body try it you'll feel like you just took a shower even if you like worked out and you just took a clean cloth and wiped off all of that sweat you won't feel yucky you'll feel refreshed it's kind of it's interesting I used to have to go to the gym and come home I had to dry myself off otherwise I'd get sick because if I would go and get all heated up and then come home and have the damp hair, it was just enough to make me sick. So I started wearing a hoodie home, drying off my body first and then wearing a hoodie home. And now I work out at home because the gym is 30 minutes away. And that's a 30 minute drive home. That's an hour. Do you know how much exercise and self care I can get into one hour? Not to mention the money that it costs for the membership, the money that it costs for the gas to get there and back, the money it costs for the cute little workout outfits so we don't feel embarrassed. Those are expensive. And not to mention, welcome Jessica, not to mention when you're driving to the gym and home, if you're in traffic or if somebody pulls out in front of you or you've got the kids in the car, ah, you know what? That's not kind and gentle to yourself. So that's why I work out at home. I don't want to deal with traffic. I don't have traffic out here, but still. 30 minute drive just to the gym, no thank you. So there are lots and lots and lots of home exercises. Like I say, I mean, I, I do my exercises in the shower. I do have a video on that on my YouTube channel, how I tone in the shower. I have clothes on. <laughs> and hi, thank you, you're beautiful too. Law of attraction, you give it out, you get it back. I love that, okay. So that's exercise. I can't say enough about gentle exercise. Think about, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. here's me. I love to give you visions. Envisions, I want you, because what you can envision, you can make happen. I've done it in my life. I, those are fun stories. I can't wait to be sharing those, stuff that I'm now seeing fruition in my life that I'm realizing. I'm like, I envisioned this when I was a little girl. I remember wishing, I'm going to be like that someday. I'm going to do this someday. It's happening because I'm opening my energy pathways to let healing and growth and service just exude from me so other people can feel it and they can long for it. And if you hang out with me long enough, you know what happens? It kind of wears off, right, Joyce? I tell you what, Joyce can tell you right here and now, a year and a half ago, she was sad. She was depressed. She, honestly, at moments, she probably wished she was just done here on the world because she was battling with inflammation. She was battling with pain. She was on antibiotics and didn't know how to get better because the doctors just kept giving her antibiotics. And she met me and she, that's okay. You can always replay. We haven't had a lot, but we're talking about exercise and be calm and gentle to yourself. That's the most important thing. Yoga, Tai Chi, ballerina. Think of a ballerina. If you look at a ballerina and you do ballet exercises, just little ones, someday you're going to look like her. Maybe not this small, but you can still have those beautiful curves. Okay. And so envisioning happiness and joy and beauty, because I know Joyce doesn't even have to tell me. I know Joyce, she's been watching me for four years and I know she used to look at me and she can see herself. She's like, what, maybe 10 years older than me, but she can see her in me because look, our eyes, we have very similar eyes and I used to be blonde, but I know that she looks at me and she says, you know what? I want that joy. I want that happiness. I want that healing. And so she's listened to me and she's followed my tips and 
watched my story and watched my growth. So see, see, she's saying, yeah, I know, I know, Joyce, and I'm so proud of you. And you, like I said, you're my star pupil without even, you know, you're just amazing. You give me self-confidence. You make me feel better about who I am and what I do because I've watched the growth in you and the healing and you've lost weight. At 60 some years old, you know how hard it is to lose weight women who are up there. And especially if you're on antibiotics and you're battling with um, illnesses, it's hard to lose weight. She finally, Joyce gave in to the intermittent fasting. She's like, how can I, how can I open that, that fasting window, Sherry? How can I you know, stop? And she finally did it. She said, okay, I'm giving up the creamer in my coffee. She lost six pounds for giving up the creamer in her coffee. Because if you put creamer in your coffee in the morning, you just broke your fast. As little as a tablespoon of coffee can break your fast. If I could only be more like you, you are. You're becoming more like me every day. And I feel it and I see it and I envision it. You, two years from now, three years, you, you watch. You're, 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 you're a little Sherry D. Even though you're old, I see it. I see it. I have, especially in you. You're just, because women your age will listen to you. See, some women that are, or, and, and older. See, I reach you because you're a little older than me, but the women that are a little older than you, they're going to look at you and go, hey, if she can do it, well, maybe I can too. So we're changing the world one post at a time, one inspirational post, one educational post. And I encourage you women in the big wellness group, in this group, if you see something inspirational, post it for people. That's why we're put here on the earth is to encourage and inspire others. And that makes us a better person by giving and serving. So look at the people that you admire, that inspire you, I don't know so much about political views or fashion choices, but Jillian Michaels, I don't even know her political views. I don't care because I don't know if they line up with mine. So I don't, when people line up with mine, I can usually, but if they don't, I just kind of ignore it. So I don't know. Don't even care. doesn't matter because people are people. I don't care what their views are, but I love her abs. <laughs> Okay, she, I, I know what it is. I know what it is about her. That she, I think she's just a little too rough around the edges. It wasn't political views. Because I remember, what is it that kind of makes me go, eh, mm, she's not like me, but I like her abs. She's just a little bit rough where I like to, I like to inspire with love and she does it with her, you better, she. So, but I loved her abs. So when I work out um, my, my core, I envision her abdominals because that's where I want my abdominals to kind of, I don't, I don't need a six pack, but Hey, if they're flat and they're not, I'm happy. So what I suggest to you women, especially you women that really feel a connection with me because you've known me for a while, you've been, you know, following my journey and my heal, especially my healing journey, not so much about my, my ability to look health, so healthy, but the fact that I'm actually in a healing journey. So if you're part of this and you watch me, you are getting my energy. So I encourage you, go to YouTube, go to Sherry D Shares, and I'll post them in here. If y'all like them, I'll, I'll post them and let you know, this is what I did today. I'm usually doing it at night, my gentle exercises, because I exercise on the floor with a foam roller, and then I use my husband as a foam roller um, when I massage his back. <laughs> so we're both getting massaged. And, um, and we lay this way. We don't, you know, I do this way sometimes, but I lay, he, he's laying face down and I lay face up and I, um, I massage my back and pretend like he's a foam roller. So he gets massaged and I get massaged at the same time. Kind, gentle, easy, loving and affection, closeness for a couple. So watch my videos and think like, so it's best if you just watch my video, don't, you don't have to get into a, in front of a mirror yet. Not until you're excited about what you see. Then exercise in front of the mirror because you can see that you're actually getting results. That's when you st go to the mirror to exercise. But until then, watch my videos and imagine that you're looking in the mirror when you're watching me. Okay? Try it. Try it for three weeks. Try it for four weeks. Imagine in your mind 
I look like that. I have a core like that. I have strong arms. And the more that you can envision a healthy body and believe that it's possible, the more your body is going to go, oh, really? You mean I get to be healthy? Okay. So that's what you want your cells to do. You want them to relax. Okay, so find people that inspire you. And it may not be me. It could be a yoga teacher. You know, find that yoga person online that inspires you. It could be ballet. It could be bar. It could be Tai Chi. Tai Chi? I lost about 15 pounds when I started Tai Chi about 20 years ago. I hadn't tried yoga yet. I just did Tai Chi. And just by being able to relax and let energy flow through you and just connect your breath to your breathing, you will be amazed at how your breath can cleanse your cells because you're bringing in oxygen. Diseases cannot live in an oxygen-rich environment. Yay! Chase! <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful celebration. I'm so proud of you. See, I mean, because I think you said you've lost nine pounds. That's huge. Because you said you lost six and you lost three more after your surgery. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait. And on that note, women, any of you who have been following my journey and you like my tips and you think they're fun and exciting, if you ever get some time and you want to feel like giving, if you could hop over to my new public Sherry D. Shares page and make a review. I don't have any reviews there because it's new. I just opened it, you know, so people can actually share my information. I don't want to hide in private groups all the time anymore. I want my information to reach the world. Um, if you could give me a review, I would appreciate that because the more reviews that a business page will have, the more people that will see it in their Facebook feeds, you know, because if people see that other people are liking it and commenting, then they're like, hey, so this person has something to say that people are interested in. So I would appreciate that. And I'm going to start asking y'all more for that now because I really want my information to reach the world because I have more than just wellness information. I have more than just life, you know, it's lifestyle, it's emotional, it's mental, it's healing relationships. You have no idea the stories that I could share with you. They can help you see your relationship and go, oh really? Well, that's, that's a really interesting way to look at it. And it's all about forgiveness and accepting people where they are and having empathy and compassion and smiling. I used to be so shy, so shy. I didn't want people to see me. I'm just, I'll be quiet over here. I don't even want to say goodbye. I don't want to have to hug you because I'm shy. I, I would get actual anxiety because I had to say goodbye to people and hug them. And when we got somewhere, you know, hi, how are you? No, I'll be the last out of the car and I probably have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm gonna run over here so I don't have to interact with y'all. That's who I used to be. Not anymore, because you know what? I almost died eight years ago. And I kept holding on to things and holding on to things. Oh, I'll do it when, oh, I'll do it when. And you know what? And then all of a sudden, when maybe was never gonna come. And I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna start, hold, stop, start. I'm not gonna keep holding on to these things. I'm gonna let them go and I'm gonna live a fun and exciting life and a healthy life. So that's my story about that. Now I'd like to close up with something very important. Um, the most important thing I can really say is, yes, stick to a intermittent fasting lifestyle, gentle exercises, message me anytime. If you would like, if you enjoy FaceTime, you really want accountability if, and you like FaceTime, I will even work out with you face to face. We set an appointment, we can do 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes and work out together. You know, I love one-on-ones. I love the group setting, so just let me know. Whatever, if you have a question, I'm always here. Um, on the weekends, I'm a little slow to reacting to messages because I'm with my family, but Monday through Friday, I'm here. And um, one more thing about fasting, I know a lot of us are on medication. Not me anymore. <laughs> one year. <laughs> um, but. If you have to take medication and it is required to take with food, I, um, you know, cause sometimes you have to take food, you have to take, you have to eat, you have to take every four hours or whatever. So I just would suggest the most natural, clean food that you can get, which would be like vegetables and fruits or beans. You know, you could have three, you could even have a cracker 
it'll break your fast probably, but at least you're getting your medication in and, you know, just make healthy choices when you do have to eat. But if you have to, you know, my doctor told me when I was taking a very large dose of antifungal, he said, Sherry, just a, a cracker and a piece of cheese. I don't do cheese. You know, but just one cracker is sometimes enough for that medication just to. So just try small stuff. You don't have to eat a big meal with medication. All you need is maybe a piece of toast or a hard boiled egg. Okay, so think about that. And what I want you to think about as we close. So, so do take your medication. Just find something fresh, raw, no preservatives, no sugar, you know, no refined sugar and whatnot. Okay, so I want you to think about this. Think about a race car. Okay, your goal is to make your body, welcome Pat, your goal is to make your body perform at race car peak condition. When I was first diagnosed with valley fever eight years ago, bedridden for six months, I was operating like the junker car that's at the junkyard and maybe it's fixable, but maybe we should just part it out. But guess what? I chose to be fixed and I fixed myself. So if you want to operate at peak race condition, think about what you're putting into your body. If you have a race car, are you going to go and get some old oil for your motor that's already been through a motor that, you know, they were just throwing it out, but it's oil, but it's dirty oil or it's trashy oil. Are you going to put that in that race car? No, because that race car won't operate. Think about gasoline. You've got your high octane gasoline. Your car operates better on the high octane gasoline, right? we are the same we are energy we have electronics we've got copper we've got iron okay so think about what you're feeding in your body canola oil no saps um you know those hydrogenated oils any of them no those are synthetic oils your best oil that's going to clean your toxins and be good for you and wash out your cells is going to be coconut oil avocado oil Grapeseed oil, you know, if you like it, but olive oil. Think about the natural oils that have not been overly processed with heat. They're not synthetic. What's a canola? Canola oil came from Canada and they used it to clean machinery. And then they said, oh, wait a minute. We could, we could clean this oil up a little bit and use it in food. Google it. Canola oil. So... You have to be careful with soybean oil is a hormone disruptor. Soybean oil is horrible and soybean oil is in almost every single processed food. So read your labels, ladies. If you can't read it, don't eat it. I mean, excuse me, if you can't pronounce it, it's best not to eat it. If it has more than four ingredients. Mm. So um, make healthy choices. Raw fruits and vegetables are the best way to go. Try to stay away from dairy. Dairy protein breaks down into sugars. So diabetics, if you're diabetic, you should cut dairy out of your diet and see an improvement. Welcome, Stacy. Welcome, welcome. So I have just um, talked about exercise while fasting should be gentle. Try to push your fasting window out by 15 minutes each day. If you feel like you can't make it, get some water with some lemon in it. If you have to take medication, still keep taking it use a good food source, just need a little bit. And hopefully with a lifestyle of continued intermittent fasting and staying away from sugars that feed illnesses, maybe someday you won't need those medications. If it's high blood pressure, let's get a stress-free lifestyle. Okay, so stick with me. I am always kind and gentle to my body. That's my goal, that's how I stay well because otherwise I build cortisol and I can put on weight with my mind. If I am thinking stressful thoughts all the time, I can put on five pounds in a week. If I'm working too hard and all stressed out, I'm going to be five pounds heavier. So, operate like a race car. Okay, you're a Ferrari. Don't forget it. Love you, ladies. See you next time. Okay, bye.